Hello everyone and welcome to episode 2 of our Tennis 215's SMP Let's Play Season 3. Uh, I've done a little bit of work around the place since I actually went Enderman hunting and I managed to get a chunk loader up. I um, have a little bit of silver left but I completely wore my theme out because I have just under two stacks of ender pearls. So we're, we're rolling along right there just dandily and I'm cooking up some redstone. We are just about there, up to 900, four more pieces, these guys right here, and we will be able to make, we'll be able to fill our energy cell frame, which will be awesome. So, we'll go ahead and we'll go over here, and we'll get this guy ready. And it looks like we need a redstone conductance coil, so we're going to need another piece of electrum, which I do have. And a couple of these. So if we do that, this, then we put that back in. We can go these three up here, and what else do we need? A couple pieces of lead, and we'll be set. So then if we come on over here, we can see we are almost there. Two more pieces, and will be set one more actually this guy right here so we're almost to our 800 and there it is and it's filling filling so as you can tell this takes a lot of energy 1600 minecraft jewels But we're working at 3.2 per tick, so, and here we go, here we go, bam, there's our redstone energy cell frame, we can now come on over here and plop it in there. So for the next little while, it's actually night right now, so I'm going to stop recording until tomorrow morning, I'm just going to be rearranging this and setting up a few little things, um, getting my production line up and running. Um, and that'll be about it. So I will see you guys in the morning. I hope you all have a I hope you all had a great day so far. Um, but I will be back in just a minute. Okay, so welcome back, everyone. Um, we are back on the server and doing a few things. So first things first. <clears throat> I did a few more things than I did to last night off camera after I recorded the intro to this episode. But um, welcome formally to episode two. Um, we're at John's place on top of the shared um, processing plant. And I went ahead and set up a tree farm from forestry. And I went ahead and set myself up over here a peat bog to power both of these guys um, with renewable energy. So we have our sand and our dirt. And then in here is the that stuff. And then just a couple of diamond pipes right here. It tells peat and dirt to go that way and bog earth to go up. And I'll explain that in a minute. And then um, stuff comes through here. But anyways, down here we have the automatic resupplying system. Um, so here's our liquid transposer with our water bucket in the top slot. And you might be asking why it's there. Well, basically the reason you put it there is because um, this guy can only accept from this slot for whatever reason. So you pull it out of the side, send it around, and throw it back in there. Another diamond pipe here because I tried to make this thing very compact. And then over here we have our gates, our target gate that says redstone signal on, and I was doing some testing, energy pulser, and then I'll pulse it in to this guy. Then here's our red pipe signal on equals redstone signal. Underneath this, it says less than 25% soil, soil, red pipe signal. And then there's another gate right here. It's red pipe signal, redstone signal. And that turns this guy on, which powers our liquid transposer. So very, very simple setup. Um, just produces bog earth and, I mean, peat and dirt and ash from the engines of course but that's not really something interesting I also would have done a couple of things around the house today 
As you'll see, I'm packing some very nice books. I don't know if I mentioned this in the last episode, but I do have this guy, the link modifier. Um, yes, a very, very expensive block, but in my opinion, it's well worth it, so I am low on diamonds now. I also went ahead, and anyone is willing, free to ask me this on the server. Um, these are the only things that can't be opened by other ops. Personal safes can, so I went with this because I don't want people to be able to get in here and steal my stuff. I also made it to the nether and have a soul forge. I think it's down in the community resource area, but I'm not 100% on that. And I enchanted my first theme. Well, my first enchant on my theme. I got another one. Um, so there's this. It just has my crappy diamond tools in it that piss me off way, way too much. Yeah, I tried three times for a decent pickaxe, guys, and each of them has, like, efficiency 2 on it. So, pissed off about that. But here's this, and then I just have the security station right here with my master ID. So, feel free to ask for one of those, anyone on the server. I'll willingly set you up with that, because I set myself up with one. And I recommend that you set yourself up with one, because ops can't open them, which is awesome. So over here we have our redstone energy cell, just under full. Uh, I was running some machines earlier. These guys are all out of cold coke, but it filled up this energy cell completely and this one. They were both completely topped off this morning when I logged in, so that was awesome. Um, got our blue electric ally furnace and some solar panels up there, like I mentioned, I think. And then just um, my chests of goodies. Ugh. Finally found some silver. It took me maybe three and a half hours last night of mining to get this much silver and these resources. And then um, just this chest full of my other resources, which is awesome. And then my lasers and that stuff are in this chest. I have nine of them. And then my conduits and blah, blah. So... That's that, uh, and then I added a few machines over here, so the first two that I made were the Thermionic Fabricator and the Carpenter, and now I have expanded my production line to include a Squeezer and a Centrifuge. Now, before I go, mark the time that I'm saying this in the comments, and tell me what I am going to do with these four, with these two items. Oak wood and seeds. What am I going to do with those guys? Those of you who aren't new to the seed series will know exactly what I'm going to start making. And those of you who are, those of you who are, that's all right. I'll give you all a minute. Sorry, I like just woke up and I'm still yawning. <laughs> so, okay, you better have guessed by now. We're going to make some apiaries. That's right. It's time to get started with beekeeping. So we need... Oh, whoops. So we have our apiary, and we need these impregnated casings. So we need a little bit of seed oil and logs. So what we're going to do is we're going to shut this guy off. That's right, this thing got fixed. So, basically we're just going to set it up like this. And then we're going to throw all of these oak wood in there. And then over here we're going to toss these seeds into our squeezer. And um, once we flip the power on, full bore, he is going to start going nuts and making us lots and lots of seed oil. Now these seeds are not worth very much seed oil, so I do have three more stacks right there. But um, hopefully this will be enough. Go ahead and flip this lever, get it flowing over. Let's grab 52 is the right number, so about 12 seeds 
per impregnated casing. That's not too bad. So there's our first one. And uh, I'm just going to let this guy finish, sit here and squeeze some seed oil, and then I'll be back in a bit when I have my impregnated casings. Ugh. And we can go ahead and get started with some beekeeping, because I am really excited for this, guys. Um, I might wait for just a little while, because uh, later today, today's Monday, I'm fairly confident that we're going to get extra bees in the DW20 pack, which is exciting. Also, I decided to go ahead and make my first computer. This guy, I just, I don't know, I like having a computer, so. We now has computer. Happy face. Um, but I will be back in a bit. And, um, oh yeah, my pickaxe. Uh, I need to go and rename this guy. Totally forgot to, but I had combined another sapphire pickaxe with it from breaking three efficiency five. Very, very nice digging pickaxe. So I actually went ahead and built an anvil for people to use right here along with this enchantment setup. John was up here earlier doing it. So yeah, we'll rename this right now. Like that. Kabam. I'm just going to go inside. <laughs> so anyways, guys, I'll be right back. I'm going to do a few things off camera, and I will see you in a minute. All right, welcome back, everyone. Uh, in a little bit of time off camera. <laughs> so there's my head, and there's John's head. We had a little bit of fun with my Vorpal sword. Sort of that. We were actually doing a bit of a bit of testing to see how some things would work out. So we're done with that now. So I set up a few machines, the squeezer and the centrifuge. Oh wait, I already told you that. <laughs> but this guy's back full of water and in this thing right here, we have 18 impregnated frames and six apiaries. They're crafted like that. And these guys are just these impregnated sticks around string. And that's like that with some seed oil. So I did some serious farming and we have plenty of seeds for the future now. But I am on the server right now with John, and he has no idea that I'm recording. So we're going to unmute on um, Mumble. And I'm actually going to keep it off to the side a bit so that I can easily mute and unmute. So be right back. Okay. Unmuted. Hey, John, what's up? Not much. Still playing Minecraft. Well, I kind of figured as much. I'm on the server now, too. What are you up to? Been doing a lot of Thumbcraft research. Been working on the basement of that other building I had been working on. Ah, very nice. Just got the infusion altar up. Nice, nice, nice. You're on camera, by the way. <laughs> cool. <laughs> just just thought I'd throw that out there. All right, I'm going to remute and continue. All right. All right, so that's John. He's a cool guy. Uh, looks like he's been working along over here and um, been doing a few things. But I went ahead and with some help from John on some design input and whatnot, we have this monstrosity. We have our blaze spawner. So I set up a bit of a... Oh, I'll show you. So right there we have... Our little circuitry, you press the button, it resets that, and then that um, timer runs for five minutes. And lets those blaze spawners go nuts. And then we have a chunk loader up there. This thing all fits within one chunk. And then we have our little lamps, of course, because they look nice. And then we have um, about 150 blaze rods at each. So this is for continuous run. You jump and click it, or you just do uh, this, and then it runs. And it goes absolute ham and kills frame rates. Let's get away from there. Yeah, let's get far away from there. So anyways, um, I think I'm really not sure what to do right now. <laughs> I'm really not sure what to do. 
Uh, I think maybe we will get started with... Oh, looks like this guy might have stopped. Let's go check on our farms at least. We'll, we'll do that first. Oh yeah, it looks like they definitely stopped. Oh yeah, all of them shut down. So how's this guy down here? He's doing fine. This guy has... A plenty of soil. And we'll go ahead and put that stuff in there. He just left. And he's back. <laughs> Fail. Okay. No more jumping. I'll just do this. I'll do it the easy way. Alright. And yeah, this all these things shut down. So that's fine. Not a biggie. We'll get everything up and running again. Went ahead and made some more humus off camera. So we can refill that guy now. Actually, we can probably refill both stacks, can't we? Yep. So there's that. Um, and we're back at my place. So uh, I actually just finished recharging my two redstone energy cells, which we'll see as soon as this world finishes loading up. So this guy's at max. And this guy is at max. So we're set over there. Go ahead and put that back down. And this guy should be set for enabled low. And he is. So that stuff is ready. Now let's see. Um, I do want to start with bees very, very quickly. But I'm going to wait until probably tomorrow. Um, when we get a new version of the Direwolf 20 pack. And uh, we get extra bees in it. Maybe it, it, it might not be tomorrow. It might be the next day or next week. But... I'm thinking about waiting to start my uh, my bees until we get extra bees in and we have all the awesome machines and all that crazy stuff. So that'll be nice. Um, but for right now, let's scroll through here and see what we want to start on. Um, you know what? I'm thinking maybe we start with a farm. Uh, that'd be nice. So we're going to need some bronze electron tubes. So... What does the combine need? And iron electron tubes. So we'll go ahead and grab... We're going to need a bit more bronze, but luckily I have some copper cooked up. So we'll go... Then we'll need some redstone. A couple tin... And something like that. So now I can go ahead, and this is the time when I turn this guy back on. Let him run. bronze and iron and then I can uh, turn this guy back off and then our carpenter we're going to need tin and some redstone And then glass. All right. So there's that one and that one. And then we can go ahead and craft these guys up. I feel like doing it at my project table just so I can store everything in here. So those go in. Those go in, combine, 
farm. And then we can throw this redstone away. Not throw it away, but, you know, put it away. Uh, we'll grab out four stacks or so of dirt. Four stacks or so of seeds. Oh, I was going to cook that. So, cook that up. And then, so, yeah. Do I have any wood? I have one stick. I have a few more than that. So, uh, there's two engines. Three engines. And there's two engines. We're, we're fine now. Got our four wooden gears. Fail placement. And then we're going to need three in each. We need to make our pistons. And a couple pieces of redstone. Oh, pieces of glass. So User default entered channel. So now we can go ahead and do that. That and our glass, and we'll get our two peat fired engines that we need. And I think that should do us. Uh, do we have levers? I don't think I have levers, so we're going to make a couple. All right. So, farm, combine, peat engines. Yeah, we're good. We're going to go ahead and port back to John's house, and we're going to go set it up. Well, mm, yeah, we'll make another diamond chest. Um, and I'll probably need some piping, but I'll actually just need two smooth stone and a bit of glass. And that should do us. Er, you know what? I'm going to need two diamonds, another piece of glass as well. Because I accidentally screwed myself and deleted some stuff that I shouldn't have. Because I'm in utility mode, so if I drop this furnace, it just gets deleted. So we'll need those two diamonds for our chest, and then our stone transport pipes. Okay, so let's make a, a normal chest. Bam. Bam. Bam, and I want to say that you can make a, yeah, uh, just six glass. And we have a diamond chest. All right, so we can port back to John's now and set this whole thing up. So wait for the world to load for a second. He's still using these furnaces. What's he cooking? Just stone. All right. I feel like my sound is way, way too loud. So we'll turn it down. So now I'm going to need my farm and my combine. And we'll just set it up on the same area that this peat bog is on. 
it's replanting, doing its business. Uh, we'll set this guy up right. Do I not have any dirt? I don't think I do. Okay, I have a bit. Cool. So we'll just kind of flatten out a bit of space. Just for looks, mainly. And I know, I know, I could use a shovel, but I don't have one on me, so it's inconvenient. Oops, this is digging into my uh, the dirt that I want to use for the farm, but I, don't, I think it should be able to plant itself with less than four stacks. I just want to put four stacks in for for the sake of putting four stacks in, really. So this guy is set up like this, so we'll go ahead and do something like this. All right, and then we'll grab a seed out, just one. And then our peat-fired engines can go here and here with levers behind them. And then our chest will go here. And then we'll say that seeds go black first. So that should work, I think. And then I'm going to go get a bit of peat. I think this should be far enough away, hopefully, but we'll find out for sure here in just a second. So I'll be right back, guys, once this thing is planted, and uh, we'll see what's going on. Be right back. <laughs> guys, we're having a bit of a problem. This John... is why we can't have nice things. <laughs> John got carried away with Thomcraft. <laughs> oh, goodness. This is bad. It's okay, I'm, I've got armor on. I'm taking half a heart from each hit. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't taken a hit. Oh god, there's so <laughs> many! Half a heart really piles up when you've got all of them hitting you. Shit! I know, this is terrible. Shit, I'm running low on arrows. <laughs> oh goodness, this is nuts. Hey, breaking shit no, John got <laughs> carried away with Stormcraft. <laughs> and there's so many wisps. There's like 30. We've killed a few. Make sure to grab the essence. We need that shit. <laughs> I'm just like flat cannoning it now. I don't even care. I'm just like shooting arrows wherever. <laughs> I it's don't the have animals. many arrows. I have infinity on my bow. Oh, nice. I need to get that enchant. Fuck, I'm just going to the bottom of the scene picking up all the Your animals might drop. be taking uh, <laughs> damage. That's fine. Look at the fire bats out here. Jesus Christ. <laughs> we are royally fucked. <laughs> yeah, this is no good. I remember the fire bat just flew straight at me, set me on fire. <laughs> now I'm just running inside to get away. Oh, where are they all? All right, we've cleared a fair bit of them out. Goodness. Jeez. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that aura node just vented, <laughs> vented its anger at us. Yeah, what's Fuck the uh, what's the uh, aura rating at now? You have your goggles on, right? No, hang on, let me check. 
As soon as I saw all those whiffs, I put my helmet on. Oh, it's at minimal. Oh, hang on, I gotta get closer to it. High. Damn. 444 out of 444, it's high, and it still looks pissed off as hell. <laughs> Damn. Jesus All right, Christ. guys, we'll be back once we clean this mess up. Okay, we're back. We're back. Um, we have Shahe's head now, too. <laughs> yeah, he, he earned it, though. So, we're back. And, uh... I stole some worded stone from John, don't tell anyone, uh, to lock my chests up with because the Zycorium blocks whilst cool, not very effective way of locking chests so that people can't, you know, open them easily. I mean, of course, he could create a mode and just, you know, do his thing, but it's a deterrent. So I did a little, a little bit off camera. I went on another mining trip to another because I realized when I went the first time, I uh, totally forgot to get glowstone, so now we have about eight stacks of this stuff, and a little bit of nether brick still, so there's that, same things in here, same in there, same in there, and if you'll notice, I have a brand new ender chest, and then I recolored that one, so this guy, hmm, he has a diamond on the front. Why would he have a diamond on the front? Well, because I don't want people getting into this one unless I like them. <laughs> I pretty much, I'm chill with everyone on the server, but this is my personal blaze rod supply. Yeah. My little name at the top right there, it's mine. Basically, underneath the spawner, I have an ender chest set up that takes priority over the barrels because they're both completely full. And it will fill up this. Now, I've been kind of thinking, and I'm, I'm happy with this system. I'm happy with my ore processing. It works out nicely. It really does. But, uh, I'm, I'm looking to the future. And our future lies with industrial craft. It always does. We always go there. We always do you, you. It has the best armor, so on and so forth. The list just goes on. But our future is going to be with industrial craft, obviously. Hence, refined iron. But something I've been asking myself a lot lately is, well, what am I going to do for fuel production? We had a couple of options. We have several options. We could go with biomass. So if I pull up my generator page here, we can start off with these guys. This guy isn't an option. He's from Red Power. We'll get into him later. But we could do biogenerators. But we would need stills and fermenters for that because biofuel is by far the best way to do that if you're going to do it at all. So I was kind of like, hmm, that's going to be pretty gold intensive to get a few of these up and running and do what you want to. We're also going to build a house soon enough, and I'll show you. Uh, you can see it on the mini map. You can see it on the mini map. Sigh. But, uh, you know, we could go with that. But it'd take a lot to get where I want. And we don't have a ton of infrastructure. We have a wheat farm and the tree farm right now. And those are our only two sources of consistent stuff to turn into biomass. And you need a lot to fuel what I want to fuel. So then I got thinking, well, we could go geothermal, set up another thing, or set up some magma crucibles and burn netherrack and do lava that way. And then, then this number right here caught my eye. 6,000. Hmm. Let's do a little bit of math. Three hundred and eighty-four thousand EU per one stack of blaze rods. Hmm. That's half an MFE for a stack of something we have infinitely many of. Wow. So we burn two stacks and we're already more than an MFE can handle. That's not bad. That's not bad, I'm thinking to myself here. So that's what I've decided to do. We're going to 
do this right here. We're going to get a bunch of generators, and I need to build a house, so I'm thinking I might try my first time lapse ever. Uh, put some music to it and do a creative mode build, because I, I did say I was going to do some creative mode builds, and uh, this house is going to be one of them. It's not going to be anything fancy. It'll probably just be something very, very similar to what you saw in the last series. Uh, probably exactly the same, just 13 by 13s instead of 12, 11 by 11s, because I've decided that I like more space. And then I'm going to be just moving all of my stuff over to it. Uh, we'll find a spot really fast. But uh, the, re the reason I need to industrial craft is... I was sitting here and I'm like, hmm, I kind of want to fly around the world and look for stuff, you know, 100% legitimately and be able to have some flight. And I go like this. And then I realize, hmm, well, <laughs> I need industrial craft to get any EU, so we're, we're waiting on that right now. Oh yeah, I enchanted myself some really nice armor, by the way. So, do 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 do. All right. No. Oh boy. No. Ooh, there's my last shard of minium. We'll make that today as well, I think. Perfect. That's that right here. So John, who is not currently on the server, he's in Mumble, but he wasn't talking earlier, so uh, we'll see what happens decided that he wanted to try to make a portal complex. He has sentry turrets and all that jazz in there, but he won't fess up to it, and neither will Valis, and they're the only two people aside from myself that can actually spawn in nukes. Valis won't say what the server config says, and one of them nuked this area. You can see on the minimap, it is freaking huge. This was where my house was going to be. Um, I was pretty confident that I was gonna, I was gonna take this. Uh, well, it was nice and flat and a really cool place to possibly build a house. And uh, well, they leveled it. Is this? Yeah, that's aluminum. They, they. Oh my God. I, I still just don't even know what to say. I mean, just the crater drops my frame rate. It's ridiculous. Oh, oh. That was, well, Feather Falling 4 for the win. Whew. Wait, Feather Falling 5, what? What? I didn't know there was a Feather Falling 5 enchant. I don't think there is. Hacks. I call hacks. I was showing John my armor and he gave it back to me. Maybe he maybe he hacksword my armor. Cause I'm pretty sure you can only get Aqua Affinity one and I think I have yeah, I have four. What the hell? Sorry for the language. I'm I'm very confused. But uh Yeah. Massive crater. No bueno. Not pleased with that in the slightest. So, that was where the original plan for the house was going to be. Unfortunately, uh, we can't do that now. Now, I know you guys all saw the IP just then. It's a whitelist server. Don't even try to get on. If you do manage to get on, I will ban you the second you do. Um, sorry to be like that, but it's it's for me and a couple of friends only. Uh, it's Valis' server, and he's been kind enough to let us use it, so um, yeah, that's the end of that. You'll basically come on if you somehow manage to get in. You would come on, and someone would see your name, go, what the f... Reeker? Fracker, yeah, Fracker works. Go, what the hell? And, uh, ban you. 
so don't even try. So now that that's sorted, we have Niagara Falls over here now. Um, we oh we also we have to solve another issue today, and that's another reason why I'm getting started with industrial craft. It'll be nice to move out of these trees, by the way, because they do drop frames with all the transparent leaves. And we have ooh ooh, you know what? I could live over here. I could do this. Look how flat this is. Look how flat. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This is... Oh yeah. Alright. Yes. Yes, 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 and more yes. This is going to be our spot. This is it, guys. This is our new spot. For sure. Um, I didn't even know this was over here until just now. This is awesome. We have a s silverwood tree that we can chill out by so yes 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 and yes oh this is awesome okay cool so we're gonna build our house over here so I'm gonna make a quick camera cut mute everything and uh, do the build on camera but not and hopefully I'll time-lapse it Hopefully. Um, if you just see a video cut and then I'm back and I start babbling about it, then I then I probably didn't time lapse it. But if you see it and there's nice music in the background, then hopefully it'll turn out. I've never done a time lapse before, so hopefully at uh, 25 frames per second it'll look okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm lagging a bit. Um, it's... It's time for a new computer, guys. <laughs> I can't wait till this fall. I'm super excited. By the way, leave some feedback for me. Um, I would like to know if you guys would be interested in uh, a Let's Build a Computer. Um, I guess it would be one video. It'd be a video. And basically, it would be me, no face reveal, building a computer on camera and then I would upload it to the YouTubes and you guys would all be able to watch. Um, of course it would be multiple hours long because I'm, an, I'm a noob or I'd do lots of cuts and try to keep it around an hour. But um, yeah, let me know what you guys think because after this summer, after this summer, in like there's a 99% chance that this is going to work and I'm going to do what I'm going to do and blah. So, anyways, oh, look, we even have a nice glacier biome. Yes, this is the spot, guys. This is the spot. Nice lush green grass. Animals. Okay, well, I'm going to make the video cut here, and uh, I'll see you once, this, hopefully, this time lapse is over. All right, welcome back. Um, so we're here at the house. Oh, yeah. Nice house. Just chilling. Just hanging out. Uh, I'm having a terrible problem. I can't get normal pork chop because fire aspect. I know. First, first Minecraft world problems. Got my silverwood tree, and inside we have a tribute to the man who started it all. The inspiration behind these videos, well, behind my channel, I should say, Direwolf20, a lovely nine by nine, made of Zycraft stuff. So. There's that, and then inside we have my new standard, the 13 by 13. Just nice and roomy. Nine of them connected to that nine by nine, so a three by three pattern. I know, totally unnecessary water door on the front, but it looked nice, and then I have these. So there's this, and then out the back we have our waterfalls. Over here apparently is some really good area for thomcraft, so. Probably our thumbcraft area will be over here, and here we have a uh, a fairly large area set aside for flax farm because um, I need a flax farm badly. Uh, I want to get some red power windmills going, and as we all know, that can't happen without flax. So there that is. Basically, I just wanted to run it here really fast, and this is where I want to. Well, I'm going to need another book, but for right now, I'm fine linking on this. So, 
There's that book. So that's that one. And uh, we'll go ahead and link mod this guy up. Following interlinking. And this will be home. And there's that. So we have that guy now. Now we have the problem that we have all of these chests. Um, and we need to move them. So I'll probably do that in between episodes. But I wanted to show you guys that I went ahead and processed up some more stuff. Um, processed up about 18 silver. Apparently I got some lead from that. I got some gold from my copper. And then I processed up some uh, tin. And I probably got iron from that or something along those lines. But there's that. Now we have four stacks of refined iron. Because I will be needing that. And, uh, oh yeah, we went hunting. So here's my emergency bow. I know it's cheaty, but, uh, John's been pissing the ore off a lot as of late. And, um, it's scaring me. So I have an epic bow and a, a save called Super Suit, where I basically have an epic bow and arrows and a full set of quantum armor and stuff. Just so when we have issues, I can fight stuff off. And, yes, my tier fives. Those took a long time to get. But uh, here we have our great wood logs and then some rubber wood. 25 saplings, so not bad. Five great woods, two silver woods, and 47 silver wood logs. So not a bad haul. That's for about four trees. And I only got the two saplings, even with my fortune three. I don't know that fortune necessarily works, but, you know, it's there. And then I went ahead and made myself a couple of diamond draw plates. Uh, I found that was the most efficient way because it uses the entire iron block. You see these iron panel strips around a diamond panel. Just cut a diamond slab in half and to get that you chop the block of diamond in half. And then for the panel strips you take a panel and chop it. And then to get that you get two so you need two slabs or one block to make two draw plates. And then you uh, can craft the panels into two diamonds each. And I had two left over, so got a couple of diamonds back. And whilst I was out in mining, I managed to pick up a bit more diamond, because I basically went just for diamond. I have a few more resources in the way of this stuff, but um, not much iron or anything. So um, that's going to wrap up that for right now, guys. I'm going to uh, wrap this episode up, because it's probably getting pretty long. I hope you enjoyed it. Um... If there was a time lapse, I hope it was okay. Give me feedback. If there wasn't, then there wasn't because it was probably I didn't. I only recorded the building of the first module just because um, it's a lot to build. Um, so tell me how like the 30 second or so time lapse was with the music if they, there was one. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you all in the next episode. Have a good day.